Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very exciting recipe for you guys for vegan spinach and artichoke dip that is so good, you're gonna go crazy over it. It tastes exactly, exactly like a spinach and artichoke dip I used to eat all the time at restaurants, like whenever we would go to like a chain restaurant, we would get them with my family and like you would dip all the bread in it and it was always so good. It tastes exactly like that. Like I kind of forgot actually what spinach and artichoke dip tasted like until I ate this again. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that's exactly what it tasted like. So it came out really good. I think this is such a fun appetizer. And like actually when I styled the pictures, I almost made it like a spinach and artichoke board. So like you could put tons of veggies and the crackers and the bread and like you could put all this cool stuff around it and kind of make it like a spinach and artichoke cheese board or something. I think that'd be really cool for serving. So yeah, it's actually very, very, very easy to make. I think it looks really cute in a cast iron skillet. The full recipe will be down below. Below, there's a link to my blog for that as well as all the ingredients listed out. So with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, let's run through the ingredients. We need one can of artichoke hearts, some salt. I'm gonna need one clove of garlic. We need some vegan mayo. I'm using one from Sir Kensington's vegan sour cream from Tofuti, frozen spinach, some black pepper, some vegan parmesan from Follow Your Heart, vegan cream cheese from Kite Hill, and vegan mozzarella that I mixed a bunch of ones that I had together. We're gonna first start by microwaving our spinach. And while that microwaves for a few minutes, let's cut up our artichoke hearts. I just cut them into quarters because we don't want like giant artichoke hearts in our dip. And then we're gonna cut up our clove of garlic. You can just kind of mince it nice and small. So once you've got these guys cut up, your spinach is probably done. So we're gonna take it out of the microwave. And now we need to drain out all the liquid. The spinach is gonna have a lot of liquid in it. We don't want that in our dip. So I just put it in a strainer and we squeeze the water out. As you can see, there's a lot of liquid in there. And you can save this if you want and like put it in a juice or something. You don't have to throw it out. All right, I'm gonna dump my spinach into the bowl. We're gonna add in those artichoke hearts and garlic. And then we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients from before, the vegan cream cheese, vegan sour cream, vegan mayo, and that is what makes this really, really good. And we're gonna add in half of the vegan mozzarella and half of the vegan parm. We're gonna save that for topping later. And you're just gonna mix this all up until it's nice and well incorporated. That's all you gotta do. It's so easy to make this, it's really insane because it's gonna be so delicious. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, but I like to use this one so you guys can like see what's going on in there. So once you've got it like mixed up to your liking, you can add some salt and pepper. I didn't add a lot of salt because there's a lot of salty ingredients in here already from all the cheeses and the artichoke hearts and stuff like that. And now I'm just gonna put in a little cast iron skillet. Just use something you could bake in, whatever you want, like a little baking dish or something is fine too. And empty out our spinach artichoke dip into there. Using my spatula, I am just gonna spread it out into a nice even layer. So this way it just, you know, it's like a nice even dip for your guests. So once I got it all in there, I just cleaned the side of the skillet so this way it wouldn't bake in there. And then we're gonna add the rest of our cheese on top. You can also use my vegan cheese melting hack if you wanna get really, really nice melted cheese on top. The one I'm using on top is the Trader Joe's vegan mozzarella and that one happens to melt really nicely. I do like that one a lot. And of course the Parmesan also the rest of that from Follow Your Heart. Those two together on top are so good. So we're just gonna put this in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit for about 25-ish minutes and then you can broil it for a few minutes to get it golden while that bakes you can prepare everything else you want to serve on the side so i just have this nice loaf of bread so i just cut some nice diagonal slices i think this looks fancy and fun for a party you could serve it with pita bread you could serve it with ciabattas i also have some everything bagel crackers from trader joe's those are really good some vegetable celery carrots tomatoes i mean really anything but when it comes out it just looks like this it's all nice and bubbling do you see that and it looks so good and it's just that little bit golden on the top and like i said that vegan mozzarella from trader joe's really does melt very well and this is it i just kind of set it up like a board like i told you guys and i thought it looked really pretty and fun and it is really really good this artichoke dip is so good you're gonna go crazy for it and now we're just gonna dip some bread in there look at that cheese pull action really good i know if you guys make this you're going to love it because it's just it's so good i mean who wouldn't like this
All right, guys, and that was our vegan spinach and artichoke dip. So good, <laughs> so deliciously good. Your guests will go crazy for it. They're not even gonna realize it's vegan. It is absolutely amazing. And make sure you buy really high quality products for this because it really is like a cheese-based dip. So you wanna buy like nice cream cheese, like nice vegan cream cheese, nice vegan mozzarella, nice vegan parm, like make it taste good, you know? Don't skip out, it's the holidays. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said earlier, full recipes down below, link in the description box to my blog, full ingredients listed out. If you like my videos, you already know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am uploading two more videos for the holiday season. I will see you tomorrow with another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.